Hello, third grade, and welcome to our reading skill for today. On Monday, we looked at facts and opinions and how authors can write a passage about their opinion, but convince you or persuade you by using facts. And that's also what we'll be looking at inside our writing. Now, today we'll be reading Change Our School Uniforms. And it's about um, a student that wants to change their school uniforms. And they give some facts on why they should. We'll read through this and then answer the questions on the next page. Let's go ahead and begin. Change our school uniforms. It is blatantly obvious that the uniforms at our school need to be changed for numerous reasons. Throughout this text, you will learn why many people think that our school uniforms need to be changed. Do you want your school to be uncomfortable, smelly, and self-conscious at school? If you have ever had to wear our school uniform, you would know that the t-shirts are too heavy and thick. I'm going to highlight that because that is an opinion if it's too heavy and thick. Students have to carry that weight all day, every day. Also, when kids play at recess and lunchtime, they don't want their clothes sticking to them so everyone can see their stomachs. In addition to that, the t-shirt can be too tight under the arms, which is terribly uncomfortable. That's another opinion if it's too tight under the arms and uncomfortable. That's how they feel. Remember, if it's a feeling, then that is an opinion. Furthermore, in shorts, the pockets are really baggy, making the boys look silly and daggy. Longtime school student Sarah Camara states, I have been at this school for seven years, and I have heard numerous complaints about how our uniform looks ugly and unfashionable. Children today are feeling self-conscious enough and they don't need ugly uniforms adding to that burden. In addition to the above points, our uniforms are incredibly plain and boring. That's another opinion. They have no shading or patterns except for blue. Ooh, that's a fact. That's something that I could look at the uniforms and see if they are blue. When our students go on excursions, people think that our school uniforms are poorly designed. Ooh, I see that word think again. That's an opinion. And as a result, we are getting a bad reputation. When kids go to school, they want to wear they want to wear comfortable and fashionable clothes that make a good impression, not plain, boring uniforms that are making our school look awful in the community. In conclusion, many students and parents want to wear comfortable, bright, and light and breezy clothes. That's an opinion if they want to wear them. Our uniforms are gross and ugly. Ooh, another opinion. They are plain and boring, which is making us look bad in society. They are also causing students to feel self-conscious and insecure. Do you want your students wearing horrible uniforms that are so dull they are run ruining your school reputation? Please change our school uniforms immediately. Now let's discuss some reasons and facts the author uses to support their opinion. But first, let's write their opinion at the top. What does the author think about school uniforms? The author thinks that school uniforms, and then this is the part I want you to finish. Should change. 
Now let's go back and find some reasons, so that could be an opinion and facts, the author uses to support what they think. We can use some of the highlighted in green of why they think we should not have school uniforms or why they should change. This first one says that if you have ever had to wear our school uniform, you would know that the t-shirts are too heavy and thick. When I am answering the questions, we restate using cups, cross out the question word, use the rest in the sentence. The reasons the author wants to change school uniforms is because they are heavy. Actually, she said heavy and thick. Go ahead and write that out now. Pause the video if you need more time. And second, how can facts or which facts could the author add to justify their thinking? So maybe Another school has better uniforms that they like. That could be proven. Or um, they have a different material. So to prove that they are thick and heavy, the author could have added the types of material used in the uniforms. That's a fact. I could look up what type of material they used for the uniform. Pause the video and type that out. And finally, I want you to write your opinion. Do you think we should have uniforms at our school? Do you think what we are able to wear is appropriate? Why or why not? You can use the voice tool to answer number three. Once you are finished, you can move on to the next activity for today.